Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Blossom Tales with me, Voltage McCammer. Once again, I have made a mistake and forgot to record an episode, so I'm on the secondary episode, or secondary save slot now. I really wish this game had manual saving. But you know what, auto saves can be a boon in this day and age too, because you never know when games are going to crash. So having an auto save there is just nice and handy. So, let's see. Last time on Blossom Tales, I explored the entirety of the forest. So now I'm going to deliver mail. You saw Jennifer already? Did she say anything about me, uh, the letter? Ahem. Your next delivery is a lumberjack named Jack. Last name, Lumber. He's probably chopping down some trees south of Blossom Castle. Alright. So according to our map, our destination is that away. However, we need to find a lumberjack named Jack. As for what I did on the other save before I messed up, uh, I should probably just try to stick to what I did there, then jump over to the other save, and progress from there so I'm back to being blind. So what I did was I got a little bit sidetracked, and I did one side thing. So I'm going to see if I can do that side thing, because I went looking for Jack. I remembered meeting this family right here. My mom is scared to go to the castle. She said that it is best to steer clear because of an evil wizard. My mom is scared to go to the castle. She said it would be best to steer clear before you get to the evil wizard. We were on our way to the Blossom Castle when the wizard Crocus cursed the king. I think it's best we just camp out for a bit and see how things work out. Of course, we're the kids something about... We're waiting for our father. He's a lumberjack in the southern forest. Yeah, yeah, I remember talking to these kids and reading that. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just go south. And then I got distracted by this person. Get to the chest before the timer runs out, and its contents are yours. Would you like to try my course? It'll cost you ten gold coins. And I was like, oh yeah, a race! So let's do this race. Three, two, one, go! We're going to avoid all this stuff. Try to remember what my button is for a bomb. The water will slow me down more than everything else. So I'm going to stick to this path, cut down this grass that's in the way. Doesn't matter if I take damage as long as I'm fast. Just keep on cutting, keep on going. make it to the chest. Easy. I did it the first time with the other recording as well. Alright. Was, it was at this point that I was like, wait a minute, I didn't go far enough south, did I? I need to find Jack. I need to keep trying to look for Jack. So wait, where am I on the map? I am here. But if I continue going left, I'm just going back to where I was. So at that point I resolved, okay, I might as well just go to the right, and see if I can find a way down to Jack from there. It said that Jack is south. So we're going to look for a way south. And in doing so, run across some plot. Unfortunately for Lily, an entire bandit camp stood between her and the gasping marshes. I bet they have all their stolen stuff there. Bandit's hideouts always have big stashes of gold! Alright, so we have to keep our eye out for a stash of gold. As for how do we get in here, they have a great big target there. So there's no way that I could have possibly got this before getting the bow from the dungeon. Which keeps a linear progression. I suppose you could have just, like, left the dungeon without finishing it. Yeah, that would be a weird timeline. But yes, I did walk around here, and I got all this treasure from all this stuff. I can destroy their banner, but I cannot destroy the helmet on the ground, and I can't destroy the skeleton. What a grisly way to go. Do you think the skeleton was there before they hung it up, or do you think there was a body that perished and then did... It was probably a skeleton first. 
Nobody wants to hang around that. Let's clear out this camp of bandits. Increase the kill count. There's a nice explosive barrel there. And a nice rock right here. Oh, they read my money. Can't let them have that. That's my money, and I need it now. Do I need that health? Yes. All right, let's see what's in the hole. Ah. Lots of stuff. Okay, I can't destroy those swords on the wall, but I can destroy everything else. Okay, I can destroy all the pots and barrels and stuff. Can't even destroy that tapestry. Can I pull on this desk? No. I've been forgetting to check to see if I can pull on desks and stuff. To try and find more secrets. Anyway, let's open all these boxes. Initially, when I saw all these boxes arranged like this, I was like, okay, some of these have to be trapped, right? Right? No, no, it's just a lot of money. A lot of money and... A piece of heart. It's one of my favorite kind of pieces. We also like a piece of gold. A piece of chocolate. Oh, and a piece of pizza. Get plenty of that with all those pieces. Okay. Now that I have all the money, it looks like all the pots respawned, but it doesn't look like all the enemies respawned. So this could be a reliable place to go for getting money if you really need it. And it does seem like you really need it in this game. I did not pick up the shovel on this save. Oh well, the shovel doesn't seem to pick up anything unique yet. As Lily approached the bridge, she knew she was walking into a trap. That's when the bandit leader appeared. You mean the Pirate Queen? No, their leader was a, a bandit ninja. Pirate Queen! Bandit ninja. Ugh. Shh. Only one of you is correct. You see, guarding the bridge was... I want to find the Pirate Queen. Avast me, hearty. This here be our bridge. The only way ye shall pass is with your hide lass. Attack ye filthy swamp bum. I can't read. I couldn't read either the uh, previous time, but here we are. With the power of bombs, I only have to get close to these guys. Unless I miss. That went pretty well. Oh, there's one left. Don't think I'll be as easy to defeat as those poop decks. Okay, so she swings, she jumps, and she throws parrots. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same fight as it would have been if it were a uh, pirate ninja. Though I'm fair certain it would have been like shuriken or something. Oh, throw it into the fire. That's so good. Just kind of got stuck in the corner here. Until I got all my energy back. The young knight defeated the bandit leader. The path to the gasping marshes was now clear. And I got another pizza. Wonderful. And with that, I think I'm caught up to where the other save was. So we'll go ahead and boot back up to that. Back to the main menu. Yeah, that didn't take too long. Pretty sure I already read that. Yeah, this save has the shovel, the save is the fear of the bandit. Okay. How's that map looking? Yep, still haven't gone to look for... Ah. Yep, that barrel exploded. 
I'm still looking for Lumberjack. Or Jack the Lumberjack? Lumbering Jack. Back! Oh, I sure hit a switch. That was not my intention, but I'll take it. I'll also take this. Pot. We'd love to see it. Ooh. Spooky ghosts. Uh, me? Oh, these guys. Get out of here. Now, what we got here? Oops. Ah, uh, did not want to go up. Did they all respawn? Or just some? Okay, that's not so bad. But there's so many of them! So, so many. Let's switch this over to, uh... Up, oh, that one dodged. That's okay, though. What's in the pots? Any amount of money or health is more than I have now. Wah! Okay. I should have figured that the floor would have gone away. Alright, let's wait for that to shoot. And go. They're probably going to try and force me to use the shield again. That takes care of all those. And if I wait for it to shoot... I, there's still another enemy over there. Okay, got him. Got him. Okay. You can't make me use the shield! I refuse! Okay, they all came at me and they're all gone. Up, oh, dang it! I know if I fall, I'm just... Uh, I'm gonna go right back to the beginning. I need to wait for that floor to come back. And here we are. Okay. If I only destroy one little bit of this... I should be able to control the flow of enemies? Yeah, like that. That looks good. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright. And now that that's clear... I don't think I saw any other explodable walls on the way through here. But there are spiders to clear. That's a lot of spiders. What's with this indent in the floor? Back. Hmm, it has to mean something. Or nothing at all. Could just be an artistic choice. I really should be killing these spiders. I'm pretty sure I still need to kill more enemies for that night captain guy. I don't remember how many he wanted. I think it was a hundred. And there we go, a box. Fantastic. We'd like to see it. And it puts me out up here. Wait, where is this? Oh, I see. I'm down there. I don't want to be down here. Oh, I think that dropped me by a treasure chest that I missed in my initial play. Ah, well, at least you got to see it there. I think it was a piece of heart. I can double check by going on the other save if I really have to. Uh, I know it's supposed to be really confusing for people watching. And I apologize for that. I just have to remember to actually make sure that the red record light is on before I begin going. Dang it. Why did I back out? I should have kept on going.
Okay. Now that I have that energy, and now we've gone through that twice, let's see if I can find that jack. Oh boy, more spider. Ah, that looks like a jack. Oh no. Which one of them is Jack? You only get arms like these chopping wood all day. Flex. Just because we're tough doesn't mean we can't appreciate a fine cup of tea. The knights would have no weapons or supplies if it weren't for us. You're welcome. Come to see what real work looks like, knight. Oh, they're rude. Oh, they get and okay, and they are looping the dialogue, but I do have to talk to them all. I always spend all my earnings at the bouncing flower. Hmm. That sounds like a good life plan. How about you? My grandpa was half dwarf. Why do you think I'm so good with an axe? How about you? A friend you would be a lumberjack, and he couldn't cut it. So they gave him the axe. Ha! Oh, that's a good pun. I like that pun. That was a good one. A ladder! I hope it's from my family. I'm planning on moving to a safer kingdom once I save up more money. Thanks for the delivery. Nice. And a scroll. Last night I forgot to cast another protection spell and was chased by bandits. Luckily I stumbled into a lumberjack camp. They beat up the thieves and then they let me warm up by their fire. We sang songs, told stories, and drank tea. Nice people. Smelly, but nice. I mean, that's just they're, they're good working people. Yeah. All oh, right, I need more mushrooms. Still need a lot more mushrooms. But I got that mail delivered. And I filled in the map a bit. Is there more to explore here, though? Guys, what's the deal? You hate wood? Uh, no. Can I, can I interact with any of these piles of wood? I just wanted to destroy it. I didn't mean to destroy your barrel. I wanted to destroy the pot. I guess that's just as bad. Uh, It looked like I couldn't go any more in that direction on that screen. And this just takes me outside the bandit camp? Yeah, I could have gone south just to give it to Jack. But now we can avoid the bending camp entirely and just go around the south side whenever we need. Okay, good to know that the mushroom things don't drop into 100% of the time. I think I confirmed that previously as well. And I can't seem to get through anywhere over there. Alright. Well, before I continue, there is one more thing that I... I'll continue up until I get to a warp point, then I'll call a video. So... Let's go back through this camp and see if we can find that warp camp. All the enemies did look like they respawned when I went a few screens away. Or maybe even just one screen. Never mind, that was just one enemy. I'm full of it. Just full of it today. Alright. How about this marsh? I get a warp point. Yeah! Okay, you know I have a little bit of time left. Let's uh, let's go to Blossom Castle. Correction, we'll come back to Blossom Castle. Let's go to Golem's Haven and go visit their shop. We have so much money now. That camp gave us a lot of money. Let's go buy some stuff. I'm pretty sure the shop was at the top on the right. Yes, please. That's 50 G of silver. Very rare. Very expensive. 200 G. I'll play. Uh, I'll gladly pay 200 G for 50 G. Now, her piece costs 250 gold. Yes. Hmm. I'm worried I might not have enough money now. But you know what? I have parts. And with those parts, I'll be able to spend more money to do other things? That's the hope. That's the dream. Uh, 
Uh, wait, what was this again? Did I go in here previously? Oh yeah, this was that game. I played way too much of that, and got very lucky. There's that church. I didn't find all of her scrolls yet, so I don't need to go in there to her. Is this a shop? No. I'm looking for the shop, and I'm looking for the dwarf. Which means I should probably be looking in bigger buildings than these smaller huts. I explored this entire town. Do I remember where anything in it is? No. I suppose I could consult my map. But the town's only six screens. Okay. Right, this guy said to come and visit him again, and I never did. You have the silver ingot and the uncrafted steel gear, but I still need 20 druid feathers before I can get to work. Uh... What? Wh what? When was I told that I needed to get all those? Okay. Well... <laughs> Alright. Next time on Blossom Tales, I'm gonna get some more feathers. Later, knights!